Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am here today with a really fun and quick project using the Easter Bunny stamp set. Once again, I've paired it with the Alphabet stamp set, which I absolutely love this punch. These letters are amazing. These really cool pieces here, um, which is what I've used on the little high on the bunny. This is a perfect little treat. And we're using the Hershey's um, chocolate bunnies. So let's go ahead and get started. I've also used this really cool scalloped in the painted labels dies. So if you don't have these dies, they're fantastic. You don't have to have the stamp set to go with them. You have one, two, um, three, four, five labels, and then only the leaves and the two flowers from the stamp set are all that gets cut out. So if you don't want to get the stamp set, you don't have to, but it is a fantastic, fantastic value. Um, Anyway, let's go ahead and work on our project because this is a quick and easy one. You're going to see how fast you can make these projects. Of course, we're using the scoreboard as always. And we're using the new Pool Party Grow Grain Ribbon, which is just absolutely gorgeous. That's what I used to tie this project. So if you haven't seen this in the mini catalog, definitely check that out. It is linked in the description below for you. If you would like to purchase some, I would appreciate the support as all the products that I use today are linked each individually with its own link to my online store. All right, we're gonna start with our Simply Scoreboard. And we are gonna score down the long length. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm a little hoarse, but take a little water. Hopefully that will help. So this piece is seven and a quarter by two inches and down the seven and a quarter inch length is where we're gonna score. Okay, so we're gonna score at four and a half inches, five and an eighth, which is one tick past the five, and six and five eighths. So six, one, two, three, four, five. Three score marks, fairly simple, just down the long inch length. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and burnish. All right, so this is how this works. This long piece is what the chocolate wrapper is gonna sit against. This piece is gonna come up and then this piece is gonna fold downwards. So this is what we have, fairly simple project. With the painted labels dies, I cut two, this is a soft suede. I cut two balmy blue of these pieces. This is how they come out, aren't they pretty? We're gonna grab our silicone and I'm gonna go ahead and put adhesive just on the edge of our soft suede. Just a little border right there. And I'm gonna take my scallop here and I'm gonna figure out how what portion of it I wanna see and what I don't wanna see. And we're gonna go ahead and just attach that right on up here and we're gonna let that dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the piece on to this edge. So again, we're just gonna put a little line. This time it's gonna hang off of this edge. I, I should say in this instance. So we're gonna also find how we want it to look. And then we're gonna lay that along that edge. Press that into place, hold it till it grabs, okay? I'm gonna let that one set. While that's setting, let's trim this side. So we're gonna take our paper snips. I'm just gonna cut straight on both sides right here. And that is what our, whoops, I didn't mean to flip that on around. That's what our scallop looks like at the top. Now on the bottom, it's a little different. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim from the back side so I can see what I'm trimming. Okay, so I'll trim those two edges. 
but we're also going to do another little trim. You can see here I have this piece that's hanging off. I don't want to see that scallop, so I'm just going to trim it right along that length there, and I think that looks a lot cuter. So let's go ahead and move these two pieces. All right. Now remember, this is how our little bunny is going to be held in here. So this piece is going to go here, this piece here. As you can see on our piece here, we have a piece of designer series paper. This is from the Dandy Designs. So we're going to go ahead and add our adhesive onto the back. I love these um, papers, perfect for springtime. And they're free with a $100 purchase from my online store, 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. That's a fantastic freebie. So if there's stuff you've been wanting, if you want to get the scoreboard, some clear blocks, a few Stampin' Blends, a stamp set, um, I highly recommend um, checking it out because February is the last month to get this stuff for free. All right, so there is that piece here. Now, I'm not gonna do any gluing yet because we're gonna tie our ribbon around this piece, which is what is going to hold our little bunny inside this holder, okay? So I'm gonna slide my ribbon around my piece here, and I'm gonna bring it underneath this flap, and I'm just gonna make sure that my ends are even. So I'm just gonna hold this, and they're not, so I'm gonna grab the two ends, make them even, and then just slide them till they've worked their way around, okay? And when I'm happy with how even they are, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this piece through and make a knot. Come on. I'm just holding on, making, trying to make my life easier. Of course, I'm not really, but there's my, <laughs> my knot. And that is what's gonna hold our bunny in. So let's go ahead and make it a full knot. That was just one pass. I'm gonna put my finger there and I'm gonna put this through again. And then this will secure my knot in place. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tie our bow. So we're gonna make our loop, bring it around and bring that one through. And there's our bow. Of course, you know, we always have to finagle our bow and make it prettier by uh, pulling on the ends until we're happy with how our loop ends look. And you, it'll just take some finagling back and forth to get it to look how you want. Now for this piece here, I chose to put some wet adhesive underneath my ribbon and hold that in place. But you can also use mini glue dots. So let's do that this time. So we're going to go ahead and put a few mini glue dots down. Maybe one right there. Let's flip to the next one. One right there. Come on. And one more. Let's put three for good measure. Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide the ribbon back up and over, and that will grip and hold that ribbon in place, okay? I wanted this piece to be elevated, so I put a few dimensionals on there. So let's go ahead and put them near the edge, but not where you can see them, okay? So we're gonna do one. Two, three is always a good number, isn't it? Let's do one more. Okay, and pull the backs off. I'm gonna put them here so that I can grab them with my take your pick tool because if not, the messes they make in my craft room, I can't handle that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and push that down. See how that holds in place nicely? So now we have our little bunny secured 
in our holder. We're gonna have to mess with this later, but for right now, let's not worry about the bow. And let's start worrying about our bunny. So I've already stamped our bunny on a piece of basic white with Memento Tuxedo Black. And I do the stamping ahead of time, guys, because I really am struggling with my carpal tunnel. So I just want you to realize why I'm doing this stuff. But I do explain what I do to help you out. But So we're going to color him with our light and dark balmy blue. So I'm going to start with the light balmy blue. And I'm going to work my way all around our bunny. Fill in. You see how I went around the eye? That's so that I don't color the eye by accident. I kind of fill that color around it, and then when it, my um, when I get close to it, I realize I don't need to color any closer, so I don't. So we're almost done. Let's go ahead and fill him in. Got to do his ears. And I'm even gonna do the inner part of the ear, completely filled in light balmy blue. Now we're gonna add the dark for some highlights. So I'm gonna take my brush tip and I'm gonna work it around this way, down. I'm gonna leave that part of his neck. I'm gonna come down his little hands here. I'm gonna leave his belly and I'm gonna come down this way and around. All right, and so once I have it marked, I'm gonna use my bullet tip to go around the eye again. I don't want to fill that part in. And I want him to be a darker blue, except for those lighter areas that I've already colored ahead of time. You can blend the dark color right over the top of the light one, which is nice. We're almost finished. We're gonna fill this section right here. And I don't want such a stark piece here, so I'm gonna take my light and I'm gonna blend those two together where they meet and kind of fill in the rest of the bunny and have that shading blend a lot easier just like that okay let's go ahead and cut our bunny out we're gonna fussy cut him out so we'll start down here work our way around this is a pretty quick project and fairly simple and then with the alphabet stamp set i stamped the stamp that has a border i'll show you that in a second let me grab that I used this one right here and I stamped it in um, Coastal Cabana after I stamped the high from the bunny stamp set. I'll show you that in a second. I think I just moved out of camera. I apologize for that. I'm not sure. Maybe I still am in camera, but I don't have a view of what I'm filming. so. Hopefully I was in camera, but if I got out, I apologize. I'm back in now. And we're just working our way around our bunny. Almost finished. Do the little feet. All right. So there's our bunny. So I used this and I used the little high stamp. See how cute that is? So I stamped the high in Coastal Cabana. Okay, and I stamped that onto a scrap of white. And then I used balmy blue for this stamp right here in the alphabest. And there's a punch that goes with the alphabest. It's a bundle that you get this punch and this stamp set. This punch cuts all of these letters. They fit perfectly into this piece. It's a fantastic bundle. If you don't own it, do yourself a favor and get it because it's fantastic. And that's how I cut out this outlined high right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put two mini dimensionals on the back. We're gonna attach that onto our card in a second. We're gonna go ahead and put some dimensionals on our bunny. Now the bunny is not gonna be completely lifted up. So anything under the neck, we're not gonna put any dimensionals. Anything below the neck, we're gonna go ahead 
and add a few. So I'm gonna put one there, one there, one here. And then maybe I'll put a small or a mini over by the hand here and one in the tail. That should hold them pretty good. Okay, let's use our take your pick tool and we will pull the backs. off of our dimensionals. All right, so there's our dimensionals. And we are gonna position our little bunny. So let's hold him, figure out where we want him to sit. I want his little tail kind of back a little bit and right about there is perfect. So there he is. And then we're gonna fit the little word high up here, just like that. And I'll get that to attach onto that piece, just like that. I think the bow actually worked out. I just kind of had to grab a hold of it and twist it. I like the length of it, so I'm gonna leave that alone. The ribbon was 16 inches that I used to wrap around there. Again, the actual backing was the soft suede was seven and a quarter by two inches, scored at four and a half, five and an eighth, and six and five eighths. The designer series paper that I attached here to the front was one and seven eighths by one and three eighths. And then I used scraps of um, designer series um, of Bommy Blue for the little cute scallopy lacy pieces and a scrap of basic white for the high and for the bunny. But I think this is a fairly simple project, but lots of fun. It incorporates some really cute bundles. The Alphabest bundle with the punch, the Easter bunny bundle with its punch and painted labels for this really cute scalloped edge. Don't forget about the gorgeous pool party ribbon. That grow grain ribbon is super pretty. And you can check out all the products in the description below. If you would like to purchase them, I would appreciate the support. Thanks for supporting my small business and for hanging out with me today for this really fun video. I will see you here again tomorrow. Thanks for being here. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.